a smile on his face and a spring in his step as the second PM in 12 months visits Forbes. Oh, they've got to show their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, I didn't even know he was in town, to tell you the truth. A major flood event happens once every seven years, but Forbes has had five in the past 12. You essentially have a single drop of rain has nowhere else to go except stay on the surface because of uh, the flooding that has occurred. The Prime Minister has been making the rounds. On the weekend, he visited flood impacted communities in Victoria. Now he's in Forbes, and it's no surprise there was one thing on the agenda for locals. And there's a heaps and heaps of dams that should have been built, but they didn't build them. Especially one promised in 2019. We really need to put an emphasis on raising that Wangla Dam wall. Uh, that's really, really important. Probably they could do something about storing more water, go out to Wyangla, do some more storage there. A project to raise Wangla Dam's wall by 10 metres would create an additional buffer of 650 gigalitres. The previous coalition government promised to jointly fund the expansion. But today, Mr Albanese did not confirm whether it will be included in the upcoming budget. Well, you'll have to wait and see all of the uh, commitments that will be in the budget. With no new announcements but a tour around impacted parts of town today, the narrative remains unchanged. The work is done, the business cases are being prepared. We can conclude that the federal government should fund projects once there are business cases done. Instead, turning his attention to where additional new funding will be allocated. $5.25 billion for Western Sydney Airport Metro. $1.6 billion for the M12. If you live this side of the Blue Mountains, you're battling. Well, you know what New South Wales stands for, don't you? Newcastle, Sydney and Wollongong. Disaster assistance funding is now available to 31 LGAs in New South Wales, with more than 60% made up in the Central West. A financial report on agricultural losses is being prepared at the moment, and the business case for Wangla Dam is still underway. Christopher Tan, 7 News.